Dan Schneider may be ready for his Hollywood comeback, but is the public ready to accept him? Stay tuned for all the controversial details. For years, prolific producer Dan Schneider occupied a prominent place in the world of children's television. Throughout the late 90s and aughts, Schneider and his Schneider's Bakery banner oversaw many hit shows on Nickelodeon, including All That, Keenan and Kel, Drake and Josh, and iCarly. At the height of his fame, Schneider was compared to fellow TV titan Norman Lear by the New York Times, a comparison that should indicate just how respected he was at one point in time. Then, in March 2018, Schneider's time at Nickelodeon suddenly ended due to allegations of verbal abuse and questionable treatment to the young stars who appeared on his shows. Investigations were reportedly conducted by Viacom CBS, and the two parties eventually parted ways. Nickelodeon and Schneider issued a joint statement addressing his departure. Following many conversations together about next directions and future opportunities, Nickelodeon and our longtime creative partner Dan Schneider slash Schneider's Bakery have agreed to not extend the current deal. Since several Schneider's Bakery projects are wrapping up, both sides agreed that this is a natural time for Nickelodeon and Schneider's Bakery to pursue other opportunities and projects. In the immediate wake of Schneider's exit, he remained out of the public eye and did not comment on the events of 2018. Three years later, the iCarly producer was back on the record addressing these sensitive topics. In a June 2021 interview with the New York Times, Schneider opened up about his departure from Nickelodeon and commented on the allegations against him that accompanied news of his exit. At the time of Schneider's leave from Nickelodeon, reports had been swirling a possible controversial behavior on set. The March 2018 deadline report on the producer's split with a kid-friendly TV network included notes about allegations of Snyder's temper disrupting work, production delays, ballooning budgets, and complaints of abusive behavior against him filed by his staff. More concerning was the section of deadlines report that contained the following. For years, Snyder had been under a cloud of suspicion over the treatment of some younger stars of his shows. Among the things that have raised eyebrows are his tweeted photos of the toes of his young female stars. It's video! <laughs> You're stupid! I got you! A Viacom CBS investigation found that Schneider was allegedly yelling and throwing tantrums, as well as sending angry emails and texts to child actors outside of working hours, according to a July 2021 deadline report. He also allegedly asked for shoulder and neck massages. Addressing the accusations, the producer told the New York Times, I never interacted with actors in any way, texting or otherwise, that should make anyone uncomfortable. He called the controversy over the feet pictures ridiculous, saying, I couldn't and I wouldn't have the long-term friendships and continued loyalty from so many reputable people if I'd mistreated my actors of any age, especially minors. Schneider claimed that if anyone he worked with over the years saw him as difficult, it was because of the high standards he held for his work. The longtime producer admitted, however, that he may have been a little harsh at times. He said, over the years, I've grown and matured as a producer and leader. I'm sure I'm better and more gentle at communicating today." The New York Times spoke to people from Schneider's past in addition to the producer for the June 2021 interview. Arthur Gradstein, a writer and producer who worked with Schneider on four different shows, recalled the stresses of their partnership. Gradstein told the publication, "...Schneider could be generous and validating, and it was exciting to be around his talent and passion for creating entertainment, but he was also unreasonably demanding, controlling, belittling, and vindictive with a willful disregard for boundaries or workplace appropriateness." Gradstein is one of many people who have publicly engaged with Schneider in the allegations he faces. Several unnamed sources also spoke to the New York Times and validated previous reports of Schneider's allegedly abusive ways. Previously, fans compiled instances where feet were featured on a Schneider-produced show for bizarre reasons in an effort to highlight a possible connection to Schneider and allegations against him of inappropriate behavior involving child actors. I'm Carly. I'm Sam. And we like to draw families on our toes. Observe! While Schneider did not specifically mention the allegations in the New York Times 2021 interview, he did note that his 2018 departure from Nickelodeon was due to things he had long ignored over the years. He explained, I took a break to take care of a lot of stuff that I'd let go by the wayside for decades. Three years after his departure from Nickelodeon, Schneider told the New York Times he was ready to return to work. He explained, I don't want to be an old man someday and look it up and see some episode of one of the shows I did and go, ugh, and be disappointed in myself. Whatever I do next, I wanted to outdo what I've done in the past. While details are unclear, Schneider claimed to have a comeback pilot in the works, which he described to the New York Times as ambitious and very different. The show will reportedly be geared more toward an adult audience. Overall, Schneider reportedly holds no grudges against Nickelodeon over his exit. The New York Times story found no evidence of sexual misconduct by Schneider, nor did the Viacom CBS investigation, which occurred at the height of the Me Too movement. Schneider said he ultimately wishes the channel the best in its future endeavors, including the iCarly reboot currently airing on Paramount+.
Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.